Hello everyone. How's everyone doing today? In this Sunday. 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 <laughs> awesome. Hold on, let me grow big. Pa! <laughs> I'm glad you're doing well, Barb. Hello, everyone. This is going to be another Suggest a Game stream. Um, these are really fun because <laughs> because some of you bring me some real uh, weird stuff for me to play. And um, and I'm always glad. So, the, the rules here is that you suggest me a game from any of the systems that I've... Uh, that I have... Um, um, specified in my in my uh, in my in my post, right? That means uh, any anything from like a 32-bit system and below, basically, right? That is not the PlayStation or a CD system because CD systems are weird, um, are weird to emulate. So NES, Game Boy, Game Boy Advance, Game Boy Color, G Neo Geo Pocket, SNES, Mega Drive, Master System, Game Gear, PC Engine, Wonderswan, 32X. Any game from these systems, um, you can suggest to me. And I'll give priorities to people who have not suggested before, like you, Barb. You say, say your idea. Little Monsters, okay. All right, so let's let's go over here to the gaming zone, which is which looks exactly like this zone. Um, and I'll grab the game, Little Monsters. He said, "Huh? All right, let me find here on my on my magical <laughs> on my magical gaming library on the Game Boy regular Game Boy, then not Game Boy Color, right?" No S. Okay. Got it. Alright. I'm going over to Game Boy. I forgot where the letter G is. <laughs> so that's a great start. Uh, GB. There he is. Uh, I'll look over first on Game Boy. Don't you my Game Boy. I think of you. <laughs> yeah, I know what you mean. That's why I specified, right? Ah, wait. No, that's not Little Monsters. That's Little Masters. Um, okay, so I think it is Game Boy Color. Let me check Game Boy Color real quick. L. Edu. Legend of Zelda. There's a bunch of Legend of Zeldas here. Hmm, I can't find it. Hello, CP Seb. I'm doing okay. Uh, we're trying to find little monsters here. <laughs> I I have not found it. Oh, never mind. I found it. I found it. Don't worry, Barb. I found it. Little monsters. Little monster. There it is. Load archive. Oh, wait, browse archive and then load it on MGBA. Yeah. Hold on, let me screen turn on. <laughs> oh, that's loud. Hold on, that's very loud. All right, let me let me go main screen turn on here real quick. Ha. Ah, there it is. Ah, that's cute music. Hold on, let me let me up the scale a little bit. Wait, 4x. Ah, that's so cute. The song here is so cute. Pick BK. Let's you view pictures of your monsters.
It's so good it even has its own menu over here. Look. <laughs> One day I found a tin can. Wow, what a way to start, huh? You just found a tin can. Wait a minute. <laughs> Wait a minute, you found something else. <laughs> you didn't just find the tea can. You found you found a huge whale in the middle of a forest. I think that's a little bit more interesting than a tin can. I <laughs> it's so funny that it's more it's more interesting to this guy that he found a monster. Maybe the name of the monster is Tin Can. Wait a sec, who is this staring at me? Wait, who am I naming? Am I naming myself or am I naming the monster? All right, we're gonna we're gonna name it Barry, cause I think I'm naming myself here. Heart or musical note? Mm. I like the musical note because it's like they they're saying it with a cadence, right? Like, everyone says my name with a little cadence to it. They revive the monster. Wait, revive? So his, your brother fucking killed that monster? Dude! What the hell? Each gem revives a different monster. Select the gem to place it in the can. Kick, nail, punch, heal. I like kick. <laughs> I like to kick things. Perfect! <laughs> She's perfect! I love it! <laughs> Monsters require the gem's energy in order to live. This energy also gives monsters special powers. And I had an idea. Gem battles! Oh, so you literally... So you're the inventor of gem battling. It's not a thing that previously existed in the world. This guy just invented it. No joke, it's a very popular pastime. Wait a minute, didn't you just create it? Well, shall we have a battle? An opponent will arrive once you've selected and set a gem. Hmm. Oh no, this guy has poop! Ah, that's the most powerful ability yet! This guy has poop, dude. Look at that, this guy has two poop. <laughs> Alright, let's do, um, do catcher. I want to catch his poop. <laughs> oh, the, that ability is now gone. It's like a card that I've used. Ah, he pooped on me! No! <laughs> I love my monster. Look at it. It's such a cute cat. All the monsters strive to be the best. There are also monsters who like to break the gem battle rules. Unfortunately, my brother, Kujo. <laughs> Man, I think, I mean, to be honest, someone who decides to call himself Kujo is definitely the kind of guy who would just kill one of the monsters with a tin can. Will you teach my brother a lesson? Hell yeah. You appear both strong and capable. Here, take this champ. 
rumor has it that there is a gem which can store star energy. Look for it during your travels. How's the audio, by the way? Is it too loud? The audio of, uh, of the game versus me? Olive Town. Gotta go. Oh yeah, man. <laughs> We got cool Joe and then we got hot Joe. I mean, makes sense because they're brothers, right? All right, they said something about Olive Town, so let's go there. What a weak monster. You're new, right? Stop at my school and I'll help you out. I like this little guy. Looks like um, Master Onion from Parappa the Rapper. Eat your monster. This picture art is really good. I love this dojo. Look at it. It's like, <laughs> it's like a tent. It's like a tent that's like <laughs> falling into pieces. That's awesome. Feed your monster properly or you will die. But if you feed it too much, it will it will be fat and slow. A light monster is a fast monster. Oh my gosh, so he's literally <laughs> This is anorexia. He's teaching me to give these monsters anorexia. Love is also important. Ask too much of the monster and it will stop listening to you. That's all for basic tips. Anything else? I see, so it's literally cards, huh? But like the, the abilities, the attacks are literally like a, like a deck of cards. Circle gems must be used to have an effect. Typically for attacks and recovery. Hello, Sardews! Gems with this symbol are circle gems. Remember this. Square gems must be in the gem area to work. Used to cut damage or improve your attacks. Gems with this symbol are square gems. Wait a minute, that's not a square symbol. <laughs> that looked like a diamond. Wait a minute, I didn't agree to this. Sure wish I had coins for food. Oh, poor guy. Let's go to Tanfield. Fifty-one percent love. Ack! Why are you saying Ack? <laughs> he has only got clutz. Oh, okay. I can make battles. All right. Let's go with um. All these attacks pr look pretty the same, I'm gonna be honest. They all seem to deal the same amount of damage. Let's see my deck. Okay, so now I can equip Klutz. Let's uh, remove um, one of these catchers. I have no idea. Oh, all these gems are like different monsters that I can fight too. Apparently. I'm not quite sure how this works. Oh, this guy has high kick. That seems dangerous. Let's do Klutz and see what, what, it, what it does. Oh, is Klutz literally like Splash? Like it doesn't really do anything?
Let's try heal. See how much it heals us. Oh, 50. That's really good. Bloober. Level up. I got no items. Let's save. Save finished. What a what an interesting curious game. I like the designs. All the designs seem fun. It's like... It's like Japanese Neopets. You know, it's Neopets with like a Japanese, like, sort of like, Hamagotchi, Digimon kind of twist. It's very expressive. I can buy a mini car. Oh, I got Flash. I got a gym. Hold on. Let me, let me get... <laughs> Sorry, quit. Quit, please. Let me get Klutz out of the, um, out of this monster. Because Klutz seems to be very... Not good. <laughs> very not good. I love that. I wish games would do that, you know? I wish games nowadays would be like, there's not enough characters, so we kind of have to join the two words together and separate them via capitalization. It's so good. Let's sell uh, Klutz. Let's see how much she asked for Klutz. I'm gonna guess it's like one coin. Oh, she gives me 10 coins. That's, that's, that's pretty good. Oh, I have to have two gems at least to sell it. But at least that allows us to buy... To buy corn can. Let's buy corn can. Yeah, we got corn can. Let's go to Olive Town. Oh, I guess we can fight people here also. So apparently the gems that we have, um, that we can use here, on set, means the monster that we're gonna fight. Like, it, defi it defines random encounters. It seems, it seems that that's how it works. That it's a very weird system. Let's try using corn can. Oh, look at me. Ah. Marion. I love you, Marion. I would give my life for you. All right. So we got a taste of little monsters. What's the Japanese title for this game? That's interesting. I wonder if it's tied with some kind of Tamagotchi license or something. That was that was Little Monsters. We are going to exit out of it. And now, <laughs> and now one of you suggests me a game. Suggest me a game, and I'll play it. Hold on. Boop. Yeah, you can't sell all of your moves because you can't. You need to have at least one so you can keep fighting it. Because I guess that, um, I guess the moves that you cannot equip are. Like, allow you to summon monsters for you to grind. It's a very weird system. Anyway. Just me a video game. Any video game from those systems. Let me actually write up the systems here. <laughs> so I can just copy paste it on chat.
Nest. Pocket. SNES. Um, I'll do Art Alive. Let me just write up the systems here. Game Gear Engine. On 32. Okay. So I'm going to do Art Alive. As a reminder, these are the systems. You pick any game from any of these systems, and I will play it. But all right, Panic Wedge picked Art Alive, so we're going to do Art Alive on the Genesis or the Mega Drive, whichever name you prefer. Uh, let's see. Actually, you know what? Let me switch over to chat whenever I'm, you know, I'm in this low, right? Because then at least there's music. It is the Genesis answer to Mario Paint. Uh, let's see. Load content. Let's go to Sega Mega Drive folder. And we are going to go to ROMs. We are going to Chris Art. The A Aramada. Aramada. Art Alive. Right over Art of Fighting. <laughs> uh oh. It's not. It doesn't identify it. Oh, wait a minute. Wait, 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 wait a minute. I think RetroArch has a problem with seven zip files. I see. Hold on. Hold on a second. Art attack. Wait a minute, this is not art attack, this is art alive. Right, art alive. I know of it by name, but I have no experience with it. No first hand experience with it. Actually, you know what? Can I just I just drag this over to RetroArch and it will run? You know, like an old school emulator? Yes, it doesn't. Okay. Try this again then. Um, Sega. Art. Alive. <laughs> I think I need to start Retro Arc so that it can actually see the game. I'm very sorry about this. I should, I should just um next stream I should probably just get them all all out of the seven zips. Oh, do I have to scroll all the way down? Because it's, um... Because it's organized by file type, instead of by name. Oh, why is it not... Okay. You know what? Screw RetroArch. <laughs> we're gonna... We're gonna load up on... On Fusion. They, on, uh... On Kega Fusion. Alright. 
let me put window size a little bit bigger here. Art alive. <laughs> yeah. Sometimes, you know. Oh look, the title screen is slowly coloring itself in. The song is pretty good, I've gotta say. It is it is a very cute song. <laughs> okay, we got colors here. Sort of a muted palette, but... Okay, there's more colors here. Okay. Let's see, we got a pencil tool. We got whatever this tool is. Is this the... the how big the tool is? <laughs> Oh, the music goes as I draw. Okay, we're drawing a Nintendo DS. Oh, hold on. <laughs> oh, hold on, it's very finicky. See, when the music is going, it means that the pen is on paper. Oh, okay, I can adjust speed. Okay. Was it C? Was it C that... Yeah, C adjusts the speed of the... And so, oh my god, this is so slow. Okay, so the music is not going, that means that I, I see, and then when the music is going, okay, let's draw the, <laughs> let's draw the buttons on this Nintendo DS. Uh, okay. okay. <laughs> see, those are the buttons. Uh, how did I get the tools up? Okay, start. What is this tool? What is this little... What? Oh, is this a line tool? Oh, whoa, this is weird. Oh my god, this tool works very weirdly. Okay, okay, so, okay. Now that I have adjusted the, the speed, this this makes more sense. Okay, this feels a little bit more natural. This feels more like drawing. It's like it's like a dragging line tool. Okay, that's interesting. What is this? Tool? Oh, it's a line. Okay, this so this is a line tool. A more traditional line tool it the sound for it is very weird because it sounds it sounds like i'm doing something wrong but i guess it's like it's like a twang it's like a twang of a, like a guitar like you know when you when you stretch a line up so i kind of get it oh i can only okay so these are palettes these are color palettes so if i switch the palette see the color in the respective spot <laughs> changes, which I guess, you know, it's that's how palettes work. But it, it probably is a little bit frustrating for uh, kids who don't really know much about um, about how the hardware works. It's like, how why can't I choose the color from this one palette and another palette? I don't get it. So we got an eraser tool. Still don't know what the... Oh, okay, here's line thickness. Okay. I don't know what that F and S does. This sound is a little bit too loud for an eraser. <laughs> if your eraser sounds like a sandstorm, you know, you might <laughs> you might have might have bought a, a bad eraser. That eraser is gonna destroy your paper, dude. Ah, the sounds of rain. <laughs> Isn't it beautiful, the sounds of the rain? Let's do textures. It's interesting that there's textures here. Oh, and also one color is the background color. That's interesting. I wonder if I can just shift these colors around. 
I still don't know what this F and S means. Let's try doing it all the way on the bottom. Maybe it's... Oh, it's fast and slow. Okay, because... Yeah, but that doesn't make any sense here. Wait. It, it also controls the menu. Oh, that's weird. Why <laughs> Why would I want to control the, the speed of which my cursor goes on... On... Uh, on this screen like uh when i'm trying it makes sense but on the on the actual screen itself that's weird on the actual uh, menu screen itself that's really weird let's draw some stars I was trying to make a joke here, but I don't think you can't even codify what I wrote. <laughs> make your best guess in the chat what I wrote. <laughs> All right. Um. Let's see. We got a paint bucket tool. We got these circle tools. Sure, sure, I do. That's what I wrote. <laughs> Those are circles. You got also the power of squares. Oh, look at these squares. Beautiful squares. I got a spray tool. I I wonder how how paint like this spray tool will be. By paint I mean MS Paint. All oh, right, I can also adjust the thickness of it. Oh, this spray tool is um, <laughs> it's very, it doesn't have the potency of MS Paint's spray tool. Look at this. I gotta keep this held for like an hour before it has the the potency of MS Paint. Stamp? <gasps> oh, dude. Oh, dude. We got we got Toe Jim and Earl here. Got a birthday cake? That's a lot of Toe Jim and Earl stuff. It's weird how much Toe Jim and Earl there is here. There's a dog. There's a surfer. Whoa, surf is up. Dude. Oh, dude. <laughs> Ah, uh, dude. Oh man, there's so much stuff here. Look, there's Outrun. There's there's Afterburner. <laughs> Look at this dude. Ah, <laughs> oh, thank God <laughs> we got the the flag of the United States of America. Oh, I can change the direction. Okay, that's that's interesting. However, it doesn't it doesn't <laughs> it doesn't it, th these things don't have a custom pivot, right? So <laughs> so it's like you wanna you wanna position this flag just right. <laughs> it doesn't have a custom pivot. God bless the USA. Say Sonic the Hedgehog. Hold on. But Toe Jam here. And Toe Jam. What Toe Jam actually did. That naughty boy. Is that he did this. Toe Jam took a big 
<laughs> a big stinky up on the national the American flag. And who was also there? Hold on, give me give me like a million years and it, it it's gonna go there. Hold on. Oh hold on, hold on. So Jim is like Hell yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and I'll tell you who was also there. Sticking it. Give me just like. Here's the AM2 logo, by the way. Here. Oh, hold on. Better if I do this. No, it's too fast. I didn't mean to. Hold on. Undo. Undo this. Let's let's do this. Do this logo just right. Part here. Make it a little bit slow at first. A. M. <laughs> the curve, the it doesn't. The thing, the problem here with this tool is that it it does not curve itself very fast. A M. Like it takes forever for it to turn. To. And because it's uh because it's AM two, we gotta put um we gotta put the outrun car in here. <laughs> These, I it's it's insane that <laughs> that the menus get a little bit faster depending on your speed. Also, who's also there? Toe jam. It's this dude. Stunting on the American flag in Sonic the Hedgehog. The class traitor. Oh look, it's it's the uh it's Sonic's uh, beach thing from Sonic OVA. Look, it's exactly the same. You know, Toe Jam was also chilling. Toe Jam took Sonic's uh, <laughs> Sonic's beach chair from Sonic OVA. Oh my God! Okay, <laughs> so that was art alive. Art alive. Oh, I can write. I can also write. Let's see how the writing tool is like. Wait. Oh, I have to cycle the letters. <sighs> I can't go backwards, I can only go forwards. <laughs> I have to go forward all the way. Uh, no! <laughs> I went forward too much, I was trying to get to the letter U. P-Q-R-S-T-U. Okay, now I gotta cycle all the way around. There we go. <laughs> oh, is this the animation option? Oh, is this a background? Oh, I think this is the animation option. Follow. Oh, what?
Oh, look at this dude. I make this dude walk. That's why there are so many walking cycles. It's so you can see mm. this. Okay, okay, I see. So some of these pictures are animations. But they're all walking animations. Aren't they? They're all walking. Or does this duck quack? I can edit the animation though, so I can make this... So I can make a subliminal message here. Hold on, let me make a subliminal message. Alright, it made a subliminal message in the animation. <laughs> it only appears for one frame. You gotta have an attentive eye. <laughs> Hold on, let me let me adjust the, the colors here. So you so you can see more clearly. No dogs, no dogs. I'm sorry, dogs. Subliminal animation found <laughs> in Sega's old game, <laughs> Art Attack. It's disappointing a little bit that the animation. It's great that I can change the frames of animation, so you can just basically make your own custom animations. I do wish there were more than the walking cycles. <laughs> ah, anyway, this was Art Attack. What a game. <laughs> I do appreciate some of the some of the tool sets here. You know, that custom animation stuff. I think that's cool. I mean, we can color these, right? You can color up this background. ACU art, art Attack Cinematic Universe. Let's color this background. Use the ink tool. Oh, that's cute. <laughs> that's a cute coloring tool. Let's see how this looks on other palettes. Oh, look at this palette. Oh, this palette is pretty. I love this palette. Let's do some Namakian. <laughs> some some Namakian looking stuff here. No, wait. Is the sky green in Namek? In, in Namek? And then the water is purple? Yeah, look at this. This is the plastic beach that Gorilla sang about. Oh no! Oh, whatever. <laughs> it looks better this way. Hold on. Let's do some some triple A gaming graffiti. Ah, damn it. <laughs> I keep forgetting that I have to... Because, <laughs> like, if I press the button, then it's just holding in. It's a very weird way to do a pencil tool. I have to, like, double click. Dogs. Anyway, this was Art Attack. Alright, suggest me a game, and I'll do it. Next, next suggestion of a video game. In the meantime, I'm just gonna keep fooling around here until someone suggests me a video game. Oh wait, we can do this. NES Castlevania 1, you got it. Let me just, uh... Let me just vapor, vapor wave this beach a little bit more. Hold on. Ah, oh, look at this! 
Now that's a beach. Look at this. <laughs> and then this. Whoa. <laughs> oh, this kind of hurts my eyes a little bit. Okay. We are going to do NES Castlevania 1. Let me undo so you don't see my folders. Yeah, this beach is cool. Look at this. This beach is really cool. I'm not going to use RetroArch again. RetroArch is, <laughs> RetroArch is convenient for these uh, streams because you can just load it all up in one emulator and go. But honestly, for some systems, I get a little bit more reliable with and a little bit faster. With, uh, with stuff like Hega Fusion, right? Castlevania. Simon's Quest. No, that's two. <laughs> oh, do I want Revision A? Hmm, Revision A means that it's the later one, right? All right. Let's, uh... Properties. Less crashing. Okay, so that's good in my book. Castlevania. I can't believe we just had an emulator called Nestico. Like, everyone was okay with that. It's been a while since I played the, the, the first Castlevania. It's been a few years. Is the audio too low? I think the audio might be a little bit too low. Let me crank that up. Castlevania has good music. I think this is good enough audio. Let me know if this is still too low for y'all. Right, there's um, there's a thing that I jump over? We jump over the castle entrance? Is that how that works? Ah! There's like a chest that I have to jump over at the beginning to get, right? I forget. Bait that panther. Is it a panther? Yeah, okay. I was just off, right? I, I had the right idea. I was just a little bit off, right? I love the first Castlevania, too. I think, um, I think it's my favorite NES one. Three is fine. The thing about three is that I think it's, um, depending on the path and the, um, and the partner that you choose, the game can be very different, right? In quality. Maybe I'll, I'll really like Castlevania 3 if I, like, commit to, like, a, a path that I like. And a partner that I like in Castlevania 3. Yeah, some paths are just miserable, right? And a lot of, um, a lot of not good vertical auto-scrollers. There are some good uh, vertical auto-scrollers, there are some vertical auto-scrollers in that game. That I like, and then there's some that are, like, just miserable. Wait for that merman. Right, I remember this. No, no damage boost strats. <laughs> I got fucked up once trying to do that damage boost strat, and so I just never do it. Thank <laughs> you. 
You know what? I got a lot of hearts. Let's let's just let's just use the clock for the hell of it. Okay, there we go. Axe is good against uh against this, against this boss. Oops. Gotta watch out for the stairs, cause if I hold up, I'll, he just starts going up this, those stairs. Come on. There we go. Those orbs look very squished. Maybe I should... Hold on. Let's see if I can adjust the, uh... The... I don't think I can on this emulator. The aspect ratio? TV aspect? Ah, uh, there you go. This is, a, this is a more TV aspect. But the problem is, is that there are going to be some shivering. Because of it. Can I blur this a little bit? Hold on. Can I make a filter here to blur it out a little bit? How does this filter look? Ah, uh, this is a little bit too washed out. I don't like it. I think I'll just do it with square pixels, actually. Yeah, let's just do it with square pixels. Wrong aspect ratio, but, you know, with pixel stuff. That's what's gonna look uh, a little bit more clean. Yeah, look at that. Alright. We got that sub weapon level up. Oh, damn it! <laughs> I forgot that the level up goes away if you pick another weapon. And I didn't want the dagger. Man, dagger is really low damage, huh? I thought it would- I thought it would kill that, um, that statue by whipping it once after using the dagger, but it really is low damage, huh? Oh! Oh, the- <laughs> you could get me really this, this, is, is this, what's the hitbox here oh wow okay <laughs> so the dagger is actually even less power than the whip it is a butter knife huh I thought it had at least the same power as the whip. I didn't know it was it was even less powered. All right, we got the clock. Oh, there it is. Ah, uh, I thought it was down here. I didn't know it was up there. The roast.
Oh, come on, I'm not gonna get that heart. I'm just not gonna get it. I didn't know enemies could drop the whip power-ups. I thought it was just candles. Oh, come on. <laughs> I didn't have any weapons. What happens if I get the sub-weapon level up when I don't have any weapons? Does it just not do anything? One, two. Okay, is it just two? One. Donk, 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 donk. I see. Donk, donk. Ah, the heart. I can't jump into a stair, right? In this game. I love jumping into stairs in Rondo, but I can't do it here. I don't have any sub weapons. Uh, oh no, it doesn't give me any. I thought there would be another candle here that would give me something. Oh, it's fine. We can do Medusa without sub weapons. It's fine. There we go. We even got a one up. I love this song. Da da da. Da da da. Alright, alright, Fleeman. Get over here. Come on. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> there you go, you chump. Hey, Fleeman. Get over here. That's right. <laughs> hey, Fleeman. <laughs> bom, bom, bom. <laughs> I think Simon got afraid <laughs> of the um of the holy water he threw. He's like, ah, it's hot. <laughs> There's flames in there. I'm not going there. They're, ch they're jumping at me. They're gonna shank me. Maybe they just wanted a hug and just they, they just happen to have a knife. I don't know that. Bom, bom, bom. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Bye, Crow. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> Get out of here. <laughs> That bag, yeah, there we go. Oh, weird lag here happening. Bam, bam, bam. If I'm doing anything skillful at all, it's from like half remembered memories of playing this game. Oh. Oh. Get back here, skeleton. Get back here, dude. 
There we go. No, I wanted to jump. No, I'm not gonna get the time. Oh, what the? Ah! Did my... I wanted that. Did my holy water even reach the skeleton? I think it was like a pixel off. Didn't even hit him. Get back here, skeleton. Stop spacing me out, dude. Oh yeah, there was a mod like that, right? Was it for Doom? I think it was for Doom. I remember that. Oh, no. One, two. See, this this game teaches you spacing for fireballs in fighting games. One, two. One. There we go. See, that's the trick to Castlevania. You can't go gung ho. You gotta take your time a little bit. One, two. One, two. Oh, I almost got that Medusa head. Oh, I gotta get another weapon here. <laughs> no, not the knife. Does the clock even work on these guys? I don't think the I don't think it does. Yeah, it doesn't it doesn't even work on them. Let me try to bait them over here. And then jump over. Oh! Oh great. <laughs> More sub weapon ammo for a weapon that I can't use. There we go. Oh, that was first try, actually. <laughs> what are the rules for suggesting? Um, it's got to be one of the systems that I've specified. And that I'll prioritize who hasn't suggested before. Oh. Oh. Oh, oh that was lo I forgot <laughs> Because it didn't look like it was gonna work. It, lo it looked like I was about to eat shit. And I was so happy and satisfied by it that I completely forgot about the stalagmite that I had to duck under. Oh my god. Ah, 
Uh, I thought I could make it. Let's uh, let's play like um, 20 minutes, like uh, or or 12 minutes, actually 15 minutes, until until the hour is rounded, right? Until we make the the next hour, and then I'm gonna switch games. Gun 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 chan. Okay. Noted. it. Ah, I was scared by the men. I was really scared by that merman. I was like, oh wait a minute. I gotta get the hell out of here. Ah, I probably could duck on there. <laughs> I wasn't completely sure that, that I could dodge that bat. I think that these bats are more annoying than the Medusa heads because the Medusa heads, at least they oscillate so wildly between up and down. They can, you know, all you have to do is step a little bit forward to dodge them. You just have to lo know where their sign arc will be. No, I was stupid. I thought that I thought the platform would stay a little bit longer. I remember this level being a wall, being a little wall where you have to really memorize what's uh, what's what's going to happen and how to how to uh, deal with what's coming. Yeah. Why did he delay so much to throw that, throw that whip? Yeah, this stage is rough. Got that holy water. See, it's the fact that that bat spawns right there. That's mean. Like right when you're about to make that jump. Oh! Why did I do that? <laughs> jump forward I think I was getting impatient and I was like <laughs> <laughs> oh my god I damage boosted backwards <laughs> that fucking world I don't get it how I got that bad in that first hit on that one that I that I was like really lucky and then on these ones that seem like I'm gonna hit it right dead on I, I, it, it doesn't it doesn't hit <sighs> really I got scared because of the last time, right? Because I fell off when I tried to jump forward. So I was like, I'll do a neutral jump. There we go. Oh. <laughs> there we go, I said. 
as the heart fell into the ocean. Wait, what's this? Right, right, this is a part of invincibility. Wish it could last a little bit longer. Oh, I'm fucked. Never mind. Do I throw a holy water and then I jump? A bat spawned at the same time that that merman. That jump <laughs> was super not safe. The game was like, I'm gonna make that th the least safe jump ever. It's just because you're waiting for the jump to be safe. I wasn't sure about that neutral jump. Oh, my weekend has been fun. I bought some new clothes for myself. Which I haven't done since the pandemic started. So I'm really ecstatic about that. You know what? Why don't I use the clock? Why didn't I think about using the clock here? Why didn't I think of that? Why was I being stubborn? Ah, uh, this is the Sea of Flea Man. I think I know how to deal with this. Just gotta stop and whip. Stop, whip. Stop, whip. If you don't do this, they will just completely fuck you up. But these birds drop them exactly at range for you to deal with them with your whip. You gotta stop and whip them. If you, if you try to ignore them, they will be a problem. Or you can just use clock. Can you deal with the bone dragon again? There we go. Haha, <laughs> yeah. I mean, it was an early enemy here, too, in this game. They appear in the first stage. I am... <sighs> shouldn't have... St <laughs> shouldn't have stood below. Shouldn't have gotten the butter knife. Oh, Bone Dragon, come on. There we go. Ah, uh, please tell me there's another weapon pick up here. I'm gonna be stubborn. I'm gonna be stubborn and hope I win. Yes! There is a weapon pick up here, right? There's gotta be. I don't think there is. <laughs> I think I'm done, so baby. Uh, is 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 <laughs> is the knife the only pickup here? Okay, I can backtrack. Oh, I shouldn't have done this. Should have waited to destroy the bone dragon. So that then I could get the roast. In case I got damaged by the second bone dragon. At least I can use the knife a bunch. That's gotta count for something. Knife, 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 knife. Knife. Get out of here, Frankenstein. Knife, knife. Knife, knife. Knife, knife, knife. 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 Headshot city, baby. Ah, <laughs> that headshot. 
Um, knife isn't that bad here. I can be pretty safe down there. Should have. <laughs> Should have waited to get that. To get that double. Alright, let's get that roast. I didn't know the bone dragon respawned. Uh oh. Oh, okay, you can fire from here. Alright, goodbye. Goodbye, bone dragon. Come on, I, I said goodbye. I said goodbye. Bone dragon, I said goodbye. Do I just have to hit him in the head? There we go. Oh, the other bone dragon is just gonna respawn, right? Not a great idea to... The strategy of go back to get the roast. Not a great strategy. Yeah, I'm done. <laughs> Oh, I got a one-up. Mm. I'm gonna ignore the roast. And in case I get the, in case I get damaged too much, I get the roast again. Mm. Do I take my chances? I'll take my chances. I'll get the roast again. I think I can do that second bone dragon pretty clean. Wait, I'm just gonna run out of time if I do this this flame strategy. Okay, I think if I stand here, I can whip the fireball that comes out pretty safely. <sighs> Never mind. I'll get, I'll get hit at least once if I do the strategy. Hold up. Got a bunch of hearts and try to do the lame safe strategy here. That's not gonna work. I'm gonna tell you right now that's not gonna work. Yep, it's not gonna work. That flea man, the, the fireball from it, deals a lot of damage. I'm gonna try one more time, and this time I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna get close and personal and see if I can just do it without laying me out. <laughs> Please, what is this hitbox? You know, I shouldn't have to, I shouldn't have taken this strategy. I keep defaulting to the strategy of just hoping that my whip just <laughs> grabs every fireball instead of actively dodging it. Okay, Frankenstein doesn't seem to be very aggressive. Interesting. I could definitely <laughs> could have definitely done this if I didn't default to the dumb knife strategy. Hmm. All right. <laughs> I love Castlevania one, so this is a, definitely a game that I'll uh, that I'll revisit. But in the sake of keeping the stream going, let's go to the next game. <laughs> no problem. Next game was, uh, what was it again? 
Uh, person who suggested it. Could you suggest it again? It was a Super Nintendo title with a Japanese name. A G, I think. Gun 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 Chan, right? Yes, Gun 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 Chan. All right. Let me get that real quick. In the meantime, I'm just gonna put on some music. I think for this one, I have to use RetroArch. My other Super Nintendo emulators are not very good. Load content. Super Nintendo ROMs. G. Yeah, there's a lot of Super Nintendo games, huh? Alright, Gunpuru, Gun 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 Chan. On business, or will be snap. Oh, let's make this window scale a little. Can I do a one and a half X here? Apparently I cannot. Hold on. I'm gonna have to do it the old way then. Which might not look great, but you know, it's what we got. I've seen this guy before. I think someone that I follow uses this little guy as an emote. This little gun 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 chan. Let's check options first. Ah, oh, that that lady's cute. Three gun chans. Five gun chans. Seven gun chan. Stereo. Oh, look at this photograph. Every time I do, it makes me laugh. Oh, you know what? That's it. <laughs> I was I, I thought this guy looked like Carbuncle. That's what happened. Okay, I can, I can go faster and I can shoot these guys. Huh, okay. I have to collect these little guys, and then the big guys are... Yeah, I see. Oh! So these project... Do these projectiles have different properties? Is that it? Oh, wait a minute. I lost my little guys. I'm not quite sure what the... Oh, okay. It's flicky. Okay, I see. I have to bring them over. But then I can also use them. Do I get consecutive point bonuses if I get the same colors in a row? No, it doesn't seem like it. It doesn't matter what color they are. I wonder what the colors mean then. So, is it a game about survival then? Because... Oh, 
Oh, okay. I have a counter. Okay, I see. Up there, there's there's the different colors, and I have four of each color, which I think is the max. So right now, I need to focus on getting yellow ones. Okay, so now I think there's a key. Okay, so I, so I grab this key. Oh, I ha there's a key of each color. I see. I'm not looking at chat. I'm sorry. I'm pro you're, you might be saying all of this already. Pause to see a key, a color combination. Getting certain color screens get, gets bonus ability. I see. Still don't know exactly how the keys spawn. Wait, do I have all the keys? Okay, I have all the keys. So there you go. The level is complete. I see. Granting certain color strings gets certain bonus abilities. I'm gonna try getting one of them then. One of the color strings. Okay, let's try um let's try all four colors the same. Uh never mind. Ah I was holding up, I swear. I need to make it oh! <laughs> come on They both <laughs> They both spawned at once just to fuck me up there. No! It's not immediate is the thing about it. When I hold the direction, he sometimes just does whatever. I need to neutralize one of these guys. Let's try this again. I need to neutralize um, when there's more than one of these little sumo guys. I definitely need to neutralize them. Try getting a getting a, a green string. Or rather, a red string. Oh, I can make him dispose of... Yeah, there we go. Where's, that, where's the other red? Okay, so how do I activate this special ability? Or can I do it anymore because I have... Oh no! <laughs> I bounced me off! I bounced myself off of the wall. Interesting. Oh, is this special ability the, the dash button? Is that what it is? Oh, send him to the home square to start an ability. I see. Hmm. Seems a little bit difficult to get an ability going. Oh, I disposed of the last one, and not the first one. I thought I, I disposed of the first one. Okay, let's try... Yellow. <sighs> Let me get the hang of this. Getting all four in a row seems a little bit difficult. I need to use the dash more often. To get away. Alright, there we go. Ah, I was so close! <laughs> I didn't see him coming. It's very hard to see him coming. I need to pay more attention to the, his arrow. 
Ah. Ah. Again, I I was not paying attention. I need to I need to focus more on where the little sumo guy is on the screen. Okay, what's this ability? Oh, it pauses everything. Interesting. <laughs> oh, wait, what is this ability? Ah, huh, okay, so I have more ways to defend myself. But I think it costs my health to do that. Yeah, look at that. My health is going down. Oh my god, my my little guy is sick. Yeah, I don't think I can do all the abilities in one run like this. My little guy is looking very sick. Okay, so there are a lot of ways to defend yourself in here. I need to get the green one. Okay, interesting. I want to get the other abilities. Okay, knowing that I have more ways to defend myself is, is good. For some reason, I didn't think of pressing the A button. Ah! See, right there, I should have pressed the A button. Interesting. Let's try this again. Let's let's do this for Rio this time. I think my strategy here is that I shouldn't worry too much about abilities. Otherwise, I think I might um, get myself in trouble. Can I still activate abilities if I have other colors in the middle? As long as it's a four string. Yeah, there we go. As long as I have the four string, I can activate the ability. That's interesting. What is this one? What is this ability? Oh, is the is the guy just knocked out? Okay, yeah, the guy's knocked out cold. That's what this ability does. <gasps> Dude, <laughs> look at that! Oh my god, I got a little cart! This game rules! This game rules! <laughs> Hell yeah! Okay, okay, okay. This game rules. Okay, I have decided now. <laughs> this game rules. This is the evolution of Pac-Man. This is the real Pac-Man 2. Actually, you know what? No, that's unfair to Pac-Man 2. I love Pac-Man 2. 
This is a uh, Pac-Man 3. <laughs> Alright. We get the other keys. Yeah, there you go. There's a key. Where's the blue key? There it is. Alright, there we go. I see. So, the, does it destroy all the enemies permanently? So, I just... If I get that combination, I just get the free stage. Oh, this has a big bridge. That seems scary. Oh, this guy's fast. Ah! This ninja guy's fast. Oh, there's a bridge. Okay, I see. Oh, this is complicated. This is Pac-Man Championship DX in Super... Um, Super Pac-Man? No. Um, what's the other Pac-Man that had, uh, that had, like, these hills and inclines and stuff and teleporters? The one with the nerd ghost? The nerd ghost that was useless but he could fuse with other ghosts to become really powerful? What was that? Was that Super Pac-Man? No, that's not Super Pac-Man. Yeah, the nerd ghost. <laughs> if you if you play that game, that Pac-Man game, you know what I'm talking about. It's a little nerd. Is it like Pac-Man USA or something? I remember there was a very like USA advertisement to it. Ah, oh, this stage is, is tricky. Yes, Pac-Man arrangement, yes. Yes, you are. <laughs> I'm sorry to say, but you are on, on every single list. All the governments are watching you now. Okay, I need more red and I need... And I need more blue. I used the wrong button. I was trying to make my... To shield and not to dash. Still not completely conscious of all these buttons. That's a lot of, like, there's a lot of tools here that are not available in games of this caliber. It's hard to wrap your mind around them. There's just a lot going on here. There we go. We got a we got a skill going on. All right, let's collect. 
Alright, we gotta get these key. Where are the other key? Uh oh, it's running out. There's the red key. There's a the blue key. There's the, yeah, the yellow key. There we go. There we go. This game, <laughs> I like this game. This game rules. I do like this game. Oh, that was close. There's three of them. Oh, this is, this, this is bad. No! <sighs> if I incap incapacitate them, they still block the road on these levels. That seems uh, uh, that seems like a like a really nasty factor that I have to consider. Because a lot of these roads, there's only one way forward. There's only one way forward, I was going to say. Oh man. Magic fact. Yeah, I can adjust lives. Yeah. It didn't sound interesting. I like this game. This game rules. Thank you a lot. Um, was it the opponent who, who sent me this suggestion? This game rules. I'm going to I'm gonna definitely play it some more in my off time. Maybe on stream also. I don't know. <laughs> Maybe on stream it's, uh, it's not going to be that interesting for me to... Uh, just keep losing at it again and over and over again. Maybe I'll, I'll just do it a little bit more on my off time. Get my head around a little bit better with the game. And then stream it again sometime. This game's pretty cool. Thank you. Alright. We can do like one or two more suggestions. Two. Not not one. Let's, let's, let's keep it at two. Two more suggestions, I think. Maybe even a third, <laughs> if I'm not too tired by the end of the other two suggestions. Suggest me a game from these systems. Let me copy paste it. Metabots EX. Okay, Levant. You've got it. I think I know what game this is, because I think I played it in my... Um, I think I played it 20 years ago. <laughs> Metabox AX. I think I know what that game is. Uh, I'm not going to say anything. But I think I know what game that is. Let me... Hold on. Ah, let's get back to that, to that good Tetris Grandmaster music. Uh, load content. Dance. Go to the letter M. I think I know what game this is, and honestly, uh, I I was I was into it. Isn't it like sort of like a Metabots Smash Brothers thing, where you have where you can equip your Metabots with different body parts, you know, like Metabots? <laughs> yeah. Oh my God. All right, Levant, Meta B or Roku Show version? Because apparently this also does the uh, the Meta B and Roku Show thing. You gotta select one, <laughs> red or red or blue. Okay, Roku Show version. Okay, we got it. Natsume. Metabots. 
Hold on. Reset transform. Some Ildan. Pepper Cat. I love Pepper Cat. Pepper Cat is, re is very like me as a metabot. It's it's pretty good quality for for Game Boy Advance. I've heard DS titles that sound worse that had that had worse sounding samples than this. Ah, uh, the localization for this had fun, huh? Kiki, look! I think it's a little bit loud. Okay, how about this? Is this good? I was thinking it was loud too. Oh no, I reset! Wait, what? I have other heads? Oh, cause it's- okay. Cause it's a different- okay, I see. I use a different- A different frame? Is that it? Oh, cause it's it's me. It's no wait. No, this is my partner. So like, what's what's going on here? Why did I change the frame? Can I change the frame? Oh, there we go. There we go. It's right here. Yeah. Okay. I see. Let's equip her again. Okay, select, I, I change between male and female. I see. Oh, the animation is not as good as I remember. I thought it, I thought it, this game looked good back then, but uh, this animation is uh, not 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 that good, huh? To be fair, it is a lot of body parts that you have to just animate different ways. Wait, what? Why does my partner have Meta B's head now? What happened to her head? That was not the head that I equipped her. Okay, is that the ability of this rival robot that you can just like make? Okay, so up and B I use my antenna, which I'm not quite sure what it does. Oh, 
Oh, my body parts. They destroyed my other body parts. I only got the head left. I see. I can practice. Select is my metaphor skill. Okay. Yeah, they really just throw you here without much explanation, huh? button is select again. I don't remember which button I put select at. Oh, there it is. Okay. I guess it's just a blast forward. Okay, still got my hammer arm, which I think is down B, I think? Yeah, down in B I use my, my other arm, and then up B is my head attack. There we go. Yeah, down B is my left arm, up B is my head, and then regular B is my my regular arm. I still think the idea of fighting and like building your robots with whatever parts. And then fighting with them is really cool. Now that I know a little bit better of what's going on, I could maybe fight. Why are they changing heads so much? Oh no, that was bad.
my head incapacitated? I can't use my head attack anymore. Where's the leader? There we go. Yeah, it's very chaotic. I think that I think maybe because uh, the characters are a little bit too big, so the camera just is is very fast. Oh, okay. So my head move has like a set set amount of ammo that I can. I guess I can only do it three times? Is that it? God damn it. Yeah, well, take that back then. Why are they changing heads? Is that a mechanic that I don't know about? There we go. Oh, okay. So my partner's head can just like switch moves. Switch heads. That's weird. Do I have more body parts? Oh, never mind, I pressed B accidentally. Oh no, I got no arm. Alright. Get fucked. There we go. Yeah, it seems like a game that you just want to like get your hit in and then immediately run away because it doesn't seem like there's a lot of follow-up that you can do. Like uh, the other character just immediately gets uh, gets down, right? So it's just like get your hit in, get out, get your hit in, get out. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, change. Randomly change to other parts. What an interesting ability, huh? No, wait. The body part that he gave me was just another body part that I already had? Oh, 
Oh, I got another medal. The devil. Ah, that's... Look at that medal. That medal is cool. Devil. Continue damage with flame attack. That seems better. Judge shield. Yeah, let's give it a rifle. Well, you know, <laughs> just replace it. Randomly change to other parts just seems such a chaotic thing. Let's just do one more battle to test out my new... My new abilities. Now I can shoot fire. Oh my god, I can only fire one little pellet. And then it has to recharge. Ah, uh, this flame attack seems really good. A lot of a lot of cat and rat uh, chase, huh? Just <laughs> you just like get your hits in, then chase them around, get your hits in again. Or if the enemy is being aggressive, you get your hits in and then immediately get away from them. Oh my god, this guy just doesn't want to battle. This guy just wants to gallop with his unicorn legs. <laughs> I won I guess <laughs> Alright 
next game. Yeah, timer scam. But but he was the one that did the timer scam. But I was trying to attack him. Anyway. Next game. Someone suggest me a game from any of these systems that I'm posting here in chat. And I'll play it for you. Especially if it wasn't someone who suggested a game beforehand either. It's a game from any of these systems. And I'll play it. I think this might be our last game for tonight. Whatever is suggested next. So make it a good one. <laughs> no pressure. Get that music back in the air. Actually, you know what? I think you're getting pretty sick of this Tetris Grandmaster song. So let me... Let me just, uh... Is this another song? Did I change it to another song? Any Game Gear game. Hmm. Well, I do have a Game Gear game that I could play. I know, I know a, a game, Game Gear game that I could play. Now I'm gonna, I'm gonna give it, I'm gonna give it a second. See if anyone else recommends anything. Come on, don't be shy. Yeah, if someone uh, who hasn't requested anything has a suggestion, please do it. Okay, so I, I mean, technically, that's two suggestions in one. I was thinking a last, but you could do slider. Wait a minute. Just realized something. Did I not get game gear? No, I, I definitely got Game Gear. Yeah, there it is. <laughs> I was afraid for a moment. Wait, there's no, there's no folder for Game Gear. <laughs> and then I realized that it's because I keep it together in the uh, Mega Drive uh, folder. Because, you know, same, same emulator and stuff. Okay, so. Slider. Daida. There it is, USA Europe. Uh oh, I think I need to unzip this. Yeah, it doesn't. It doesn't know what game it is in here. Okay. You know what? Let's actually use our good old friend Sega, um, Kega Fusion. I keep calling it, I keep wanting to call it Kega Fusion. Oh, please, Dragon Cat Man. Make, the, make your suggestion. I mean, you haven't suggested anything. So whatever you suggest, I'll do it. games. Interesting. Okay, we can do that. Let me... Did I use RetroArch or should I use the other one? Wait a minute, is it not identifying anything? Oh. 
there. Oh. Huh. Okay. Let's... Okay, I'm gonna need to open up the other emulator for this. Take or turbo engine. Otake. Better. Well, let's see if I can load it up on Otake real quick, and then if I can't, I'll play some. I'll play Slider. <laughs> New card game. Slider. No, not Slider. Sorry. Yes, <laughs> I'm playing Yes. I forgot. Okay, okay, I think I cannot play this game, uh, Dragon Cat Man, because I think the ROMs that I got are all, like, um, either games that have been translated in English, are all, are, none of, none of like, Jap Japanese exclusive ROMs that are, that you cannot play because the language differences are here. I got a, I got a weird thing. Okay, so, sorry. No, no, yes. Especially, you know, and also you're you're gonna go away anyway, so I will I will get slider then. I should probably get a full ROM set of PC engine. Actually. I got this ROM set that was like, hey, here's every game. That was released in English or that doesn't require um, uh, Japanese to play, and I think they didn't include Yeast because it's a very text-heavy game. Alright, so I'm gonna play Slider for the game gear. Well, there's also other games that are not, um... Alright. Traida. Hold on. Is the video at a weird format here? I wonder... Oh, you know what? Because it's being played on um, on a Mega Drive resolution, so it's like it's extended. I wonder if there's something that I can do here. Yeah, because this is a Mega Drive emulator specifically, so we might see stuff here that we weren't behind to see, that we weren't meant to see. Oh, hold on, my controller might not be configured here. Oh, okay. It's a different. Okay, it's a different one. Okay. Up, down, left, right. One, two, start. All right. There we go. This is slider. Oh, that that's that's barely readable. Fire! Fire! Okay, so I guess it's one of those games that I have to cl clear every single block. And I guess the Cuckoo's Clan is after me. Okay, I can fire shots here. Oh, and I got far away shots. Oh, and up there, I think it tells me where the bonus is. I see.
I'm collecting something. I guess I lost one of them? Somehow? Oh! I guess I can't fall. <laughs> So these tiles that are messed up on the sides are stuff that we, that I don't think I'm meant to be able to see, because we are playing this on a Mega Drive resolution. So the ex the screen extends, and we can see some stuff that we weren't meant to see that we it wouldn't be able to see on a, on a Game Gear. That's intense. Yeah, it's it you know, it's it's like there's this massive overscan. Because of because of that, right? Like if you play these games on a Mega Drive, you're going to just get like this massive overscan. Alright, this is the end of the screen. Okay, so, hold on. So this is the edge of the screen, so... I can actually crop this, hold on. So, left here. Check this out. Wait, no. Am I cropping left? Yes, I'm cropping left. So if I crop 90, 120, 150, oh, that's close, 70, 80, see, 180, oh, that's a little bit too much, 130, I think, sure, so this is actually what would what we would be able to see on the game gear. Oh, too much. Okay, so this is so this is actually closer. This is the game gear. I guess I ran out of time. Haha, <laughs> this! Now this is Game Gear. Uh, I guess there's 13 tiles left. I keep forgetting that I need add to actually clear out every tile. I can't just not do it. Are you ever gonna go away here? Oh, it's a teleporter? What? 
That's weird. Huh. <laughs> I guess this is slider. I got that MF. <laughs> I got that MF. I don't get what button one does. I mean button two. I don't get what button two does. There's two tiles. Where are these two tiles? Can y'all see where these two tiles are? I don't know what these two tiles they're talking about are. Oh, it's these two. Okay, it's these green ones. Yeah, okay. I thought that those were like things that I couldn't go through for some reason. They looked very non-go-throughable, if you know what I mean. That guy wasn't even fully out of that hole. Yeah, why there are some tiles here that I just completely blocked off. It's very weird. Get this F. Oh, we got this gummy bear. I can't forget the green tiles. That's funny. Very. Oh, we can continue. Okay. Ah! <laughs> These are ice tiles, I think. But I didn't mean to go to the left, but... It's like, yeah, these, these tiles just slide me all the way to the next tile. Yeah, this does really feel like a British game, doesn't it? Wait, where are the other two tiles? Oh, there's one. Oh, there you go. It's quick. Squids.
Okay, I see. I see how it is now. We're adding complexity here. There we go. Triple trouble about Sonic 2. That's crazy. That is absolutely crazy. That is a kid who had a Game Gear. That's the only explanation for that. To me, the only, uh, the only 8-bit Sonic titles that I think are really good are the first one by Ancient, right? Oh, Triple Trouble is fine. Triple Trouble is not terrible. Triple Trouble is fine, actually. Triple Trouble, I, I would put it there on the on the goodish Sonic games. It's Triple Trouble. It's uh, it's the first one created by Ancient, and uh, and Sonic Neo Pocket Adventure. Neo Pocket Adventure is like legitimately really really good. I think I might like it better than the Advance game. The, the Sonic Advance one, even though Advance one's kind of like a spiritual equal to it, I think it fair. I think I think it's just like it controls better than the first Sonic Advance, which automatically makes it better than the second Sonic Advance. I don't know how it compares to three. It's been a long time since I last played it, and I don't think I fully grasped. The mechanics of Sonic Advance 3 when I played it. Unleashed at the top? <laughs> now, okay. So, Triple Trouble above Sonic 2 is. The Game Gear was your childhood or whatever, right? But Unleashed, but that plus Unleashed at the top, I think that's just trolling at this point. Or maybe it's someone who likes the idea of the games rather than playing them, right? It's like, because, you know, if you look at Triple Trouble, it's like, oh, you know, it's got Knack and Fang. Awesome, I, I love that guy. It's got snowboarding and a train chase sequence thing. Like cool concepts, right? <laughs> the moment that like for the first frame that these enemies spawn, they can already hit you. That's insane. Yeah, it's the Sonic popcorn machine. Alright, so I guess that's slider. Actually, I want to end this stream on a higher note. I want to end this stream on a higher note. I'm gonna tell you what. Let me, let me just announce this first. Alright. If you saw it on Twitter, you know what we're going to play right now. <laughs> you know what we're going to play. That's right. We're gonna play GGLS. Yeah, it is. I 
never played the LS games, actually. I've always wanted to play Musha. But I, I, I also get insecure about... Because I've, I've, I've heard that Musha is not really a beginner shmup. So I'm like, maybe I should play other titles beforehand. Thank you for the follow, Emerald Typhoon! Marvelous! Normal or special? I guess we're gonna do normal. Hold on, let me... <laughs> I hope it's not bothering too much that the screen is not aligned. It's just better for me to play this way. Right. So I guess we get two types of shots just with one, just by pressing one. I don't know what button two does, though, yet. Oh, we only got one of those points. I mean, there is. There are, I think there's a there's two LS games for the Mega Drive. Not quite sure what button two does though. It doesn't seem that it does anything so far. D is this fire thing. Like a fire shield. I don't know if I like this weapon. <gasps> that kill animation is so cool! The screen like flashes in a really dramatic way. It's really cool. Let's try S shot. Like it's not like a, a, a sudden flash, it's more like a Okay, let's yeah, look at this. Look at how powered up laser is. shouldn't be switching weapons willy nilly because I, I think they might level down if I switch. I'm not sure. No, they seem to maintain level, so that's good. I can just switch weapons and not downgrade them. Oops, I <laughs> accidentally avoided all these points. I still don't know what button 2 does though. Yeah. Oh man, this weapon is actually pretty useful. This uh, this barrier, this fire barrier against that boss. This game is pretty. <laughs> this game is pretty and, and 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 sounds pretty good too. I'm not used to people putting actual effort in Game Gear games. He's the fire, right? It's the fire shield. I don't think I wanted. I want that right now. This S weapon seems weird. It, it explodes into, yeah, but it only explodes way late. Ah, that flash is so dramatic. I love that that flash when when my ship dies. Getting those peas is harder than I thought.
Ah! I thought I could squeeze between the projectiles. Ah! Yeah! <laughs> Continue screen song, it's very good. How's the audio balance, by the way? Is the game too quiet? Oh, am I all the way back in the beginning? I, I wish that it would checkpoint me a little bit further. Maybe speed? It makes sense, right? For it to be speed. Ah! I can't... I, it doesn't seem like my ship goes... If, it, if my ship changes speed, it's a little bit too uh, subtle for me to notice. Yeah, P, yeah, yeah, like you said, Panic Witch, P, uh, powers up my current weapon. That's good to know. What was D again? Oh, D, yeah, D is this. I forgot. Dire <laughs> What hit me? <laughs> I looked at chat for a moment and suddenly I got hit by something. Oh, I think it was one of the ground turrets projectiles. I don't like S. S seems like a very weird weapon. Ah. I was I was relying on that shield to shield me from damage. Okay. I need to get myself back up and shake. Oh wait. Oh no. <laughs> oh no, wait, wait. My controller disconnected. Whoops, whoopsie daisy. There you go. <laughs> My controller disconnected and I didn't notice it.
want to power up. I want a big P. I want these little peas. I want the big P. There we go. There it is. Why did I <laughs> why did I run into that bullet? Can someone please explain to me that? What was the f what was the what was the psychological phenomenon that made me do that? <laughs> do what I just did. Can Freud explain that? W. No, I don't want W. See, you'd think that by the by the way that I ran into that bullet, you'd think that. But I knew that was a bullet. That is true. Maybe my subconscious took over. I'd be a tired to play a less, but I really do want to <laughs> really do want to end the stream on a on a better note. It is weird that I continue with my weapon, huh? Why can't I move? Uh, okay, I think it was another controller issue. Hold on. <laughs> Hold on, why can't I move? Hello? Uh oh. Okay, now I can move. Let's just. <laughs> Let's just restart this continue over. figure out what the two button does. Would it be speed of my rapid shot? Sound like my shots were a little bit faster. I should probably look this up, huh? It's just ship movement speed, but it's subtle enough that I'm that I can't be too sure. Oh, 
Oh, I want them. E yes. <laughs> laser for now. Do y'all like to go to the dentist? Because <laughs> the, the, cause these uh, these bullets uh, sound like <laughs> sound like going to the dentist. Yeah, because one button is fire, and the other button I'm not too sure. Like, I think it might be a. Ship speed change, but I'm not completely sure. Oh, I got backfire now. I think I'm just gonna keep laser. I'm just gonna hold on to laser. I got another P. Oh wow, that's big. Look at these lasers. Those lasers are huge. Pretty high power too, this laser. <gasps> Whoa! Ah, that effect was cool. Whoa, this water's trippy. Okay, there we go. It calmed itself down a little bit. Okay, so if I get the same weapon, it doesn't power my weapon up. Only P powers up the weapon. Ah! What a shame. Okay, it's still decently powered up. Not sure if I'm a big fan of W here. I do like that laser got that back got that back shot. What about N? Oh, did I power it down somehow? It looks like I powered it down. That's weird. I'm really not a big fan of S. That seems very weird. It might be pretty high power now. Look at me dancing. 
Look at him dance. Whoa! Wide goes real wide, huh? Whoa, look at that! Look at those missiles! Bra 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 bra! They keep go like the explosion keeps going forwards. It's such a cool effect. I think I like laser better. I like the back shot and I like the big laser. Forget what N was. Haha, <laughs> it immediately fired at me. I was like, what's that boss gonna do? And then he just fired at me. <laughs> oh, look at me. <laughs> I'm just erasing these bullets. I'm just erasing the bullets that it sends to me. Gotcha! Oh, look at that. Ah, oh, that looks good. Man, is this really a one button game? I still don't know exactly what the other button does. <laughs> yeah, I can't do that on the Game Boy. Well, Weedlard, I thought some of, someone of your expertise would know. But apparently, <laughs> apparently your lordship is is fake. <laughs> You'd think that you of all people would know <laughs> what future trains run on. Power myself up one more. No, I think this is the max level. Homie, just be doing my job for me, huh? Oh, okay. You, you, you know more about it from recre about recreational activity use of it. That's your, that's your one weakness. Does S actually get better at max level? <laughs> well, I, don't, I don't think I want to try out. I'm pretty comfortable with homing. Homie's putting a lot of work.
God, look at this 3D. Look at this 3D effect. That's cool. Are you gonna go here today? Someday? Am I just gonna dodge these bullets? Oh, there you go. There you go. There you are. Oh, that scaling was kind of funky in the middle stage, huh? They should. They should. Actually, there's one Game Gear game that got the 3D treatment. Um, it's in um, it's in the Sega Ages Collection 3D. It's in the Sega 3D Collection 2, I think. So you can only get it on cartridge. It's not a downloadable title. Uh, it's one of the bonus games there. I think it's called uh, 3D. Maze Run? No, it's not 3D Maze Runner. Cause I'm thinking of 3D World Runner. It's it's something like 3D Maze. It's a Master System game called 3D Maze something. Well, I guess it's technically Master System, not Game Gear. And it's one of the uh, one of the extras for the 3D Classics Collection. I think it might be it might be one of the extras that was only ex um, available in the Japanese version. Bonus area. Pretty well in this bonus area. Just gotta look for the pattern. Right. Perfect! Haha! <laughs> Whoa! My regular shot got super powered up. By those little peas that I got. Ah, uh, this city looks cool. Ah, no! What a shame. Powered myself down a little bit. Oh, okay, it's a landing thing. Ah! I thought I was holding right. How did I get hit by that? There we go. We got another one up. <gasps> Hi, Vivi! Hello. Ah. <laughs> Sorry, Vivi, but this is going. I think this is going to be more, uh, our last game, because I am getting tired. But uh, that <laughs> truck was fun.
And also, I'm having too much of a good time with Aless to stop. that a Game Gear game could be this good, huh? <laughs> Not me! <laughs> ah! What a shame. What a shame. Still got one? Yeah, I still got one life, but I I think I'm all the way powered down. I ran into that bullet. Okay, there we go. I gotta power myself up again. Hopefully there's another bonus stage. A bonus stage would come really in handy right now. Oh, nope, straight to round six. Let's hope we get some peace. Oh, there we go. Yes, bonus area. Let's go. Get myself strong. Ah, oh, damn it. That's not gonna be a perfect. Yes, we got that P. Yeah, there's no mo Musha, um... Ah, damn it. <laughs> I got scared. Okay. That's alright. Alright, we got both our main weapon and our sub-weapon powered up. We can- Oh, another P. We can do this. Let's trust in the power of homing. Actually, hold on. Let me adjust the stream here a bit because I'm not looking at dropped frames. Hopefully there weren't many frames dropped. It doesn't seem like there was.
ほう Yeah, another one up. Where else did I hear this jingle before? I've heard this jingle somewhere. It's dun da 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 da. Someone else was referencing GG Alest or something. Oh, hold on. Yep, there we go. was some city collection or something. Oh, that's a lot of bullets. Take that. Made the soil. <laughs> Moon child. Why did I? <laughs> I know why I did that. I know why I did that. I thought that enemy was going to be destroyed. I really shouldn't have taken a chance, huh? It feels like the final level. It feels very final level, like... <laughs> Congratulations on being the moon child. Is this the sequel to Einheinder? Are we going against the moon? Ah, look at that! Ah, <laughs> look at that! The graphics of the ship descending! That was so cool! You know, considering this has a girl protagonist, you're probably right. Most most girl protagonists are are about that, right? And I mean, this definitely got inspirations on Gunbuster, which is sort of, you know, there. It, it's not exactly about a. Well, it is. It is avenging your father. That's that is the plot of Gunbuster a little bit. That is the motivation of the heroine a little bit. Oh, I see. I always thought that the protagonist of Aless was always this girl. That's interesting. That's interesting that her dad was the protagonist of the first one.
homie can be not super reliable sometimes. I wanted that P. Oh, there you go. Still got a life. I keep forgetting that zero counts as a life. Hopefully I hear another one of those life jingles. Oh, oh, whoa. Yeah, take that. Take that. Eat it. Eat it up. Eat it up, weird face. Now I'm going into your hole. <laughs> Wait, that didn't come out right. <laughs> but I mean, it's, it was shaped like him. It was a hole made for him. You know? shame I was so close <sighs> how far along do I have to restart the stage ah man and I'm really powered down yeah I'm really powered down this is a uh... This is not great news. long too the stage is pretty long and I think it, it bounced me all the way back to the start I'll tell you what once this life is over I think uh, I think I'm gonna end the stream this is my last continue my last continue as continue as continue <laughs> I wonder what will happen if I select game over. Oh, okay, just title screen. I thought I thought that would be some like game over title thing. Ha! Ah, that was GGLS. Oh my god. Compile, you've done it again. <laughs> Compile. I mean, not that I've played <laughs> your shooters before. <laughs> Let's say you've done it for the first time. <laughs> GG indeed. Ah, that was a. What a what a great shmup! Not that I'm a not that I'm an expert of shmups. Yeah, look at it. Shmups where you play as a cute girl should be cherished, and this is one of them. Ah, what a fun what a fun game. Yeah. Whoa! <laughs> Whoa, Vivi! Can't do that. <laughs> anyway. That was the stream. Thank you so much for joining me and suggesting games. I've learned some cool games like um, the Garu-chan, I think was the name of the Super Famicom game. That was awesome. That was like Pac-Man Championship Edition DX <laughs> with like Pac-Man Arrange and Mario Kart. <laughs> that was awesome. Ah, Thank you so much, everyone. I, I love doing these streams. Um... I might stream something tomorrow, but no promises. And then Wednesday. You know what day it is Wednesday, right? Do you know? Do you know what game what day it is Wednesday? You should look it up. It's a very important day. It's a nas it's an international holiday actually. <laughs> and so we're gonna play a game on Wednesday to celebrate that. The game will be announced on, on the day. But it will be that uh, that night that night uh, slot. 
see you. Goodbye. <laughs>